Hello Aries, welcome to my channel Cancer Moon Oracles. My name is Rose and I'm here to bring you another monthly update. We're going to dive on in and take a look and see what's coming through for you in the month of July. So what's coming in for you guys? So this is speaking to all Arians out there. Um, <clears throat> Do keep in mind this is a, a read that is for entertainment purposes only. So with that, uh, some of the messages coming through here today may or may not resonate for you. If it does, let me know guys by liking, sharing and or subscribing if you haven't already done so. Um, and if you would like to book a personal reading with me, you know the drill guys. <laughs> All the details on how to work with me and connect with me will be in the show more section just below this video. Okay, so I've laid out the cards like this. I will um, I will introduce the cards as I talk through this read. <clears throat> so Aries, we are moving into um, cancer season at the beginning of July. And you will get to experience Leo season towards the end of July or, you know, sort of in the middle of July to, to the end of July. Um, what I see here is, you know, cancer season is about family. Okay, so it's more about the family, the home. You may experience um, at the beginning of July, um the desire to want to be closer to your family that you've got family and tribe here so i do feel like there is this sense uh within you to want to spend more time with your family or to or with the people that you would consider your family that might look like friends for you um you might be involved in a particular uh, group or tribe and you consider these people your family. And I, and I see you maybe being more drawn to these people um, in July, okay, for that very reason that we are, you know, experiencing those Cancerian um, seasonal energies. <clears throat> I see for some of you uh, with the Three of Cups here, I see a, reu a reunion. Uh, maybe this is a reunion with someone from your family. Maybe uh, some a family member or a friend here with the hangman has um, blocked you or just temporarily put you on hold or on pause. But I do see a reunion happening here between you and a friend or a family member or maybe even a group of people you could be reuniting with your family or a particular tribe here uh, i feel like with the hanged man you're starting to see a situation with a group of people very differently at the beginning of july <clears throat> I'm seeing here with the Five of Swords that you want to overcome the difficulties um, or the challenges. Uh, you want to put the conflict uh, behind you. Okay, you want to put the conflict behind you. Here. You've got the parrot spirit here, which says, watch your words. So there is this tendency to want to maybe speak unfiltered. Um, maybe there is this tendency within you, Aries, to speak um, from the heart, which is awesome. Uh, but some of those words that are rolling off of your tongue may have the intention to hurt another person. So... I do feel here in July you will be more cautious about how you deliver your words, how you communicate with others, okay? Okay. 
you know, cancer season is also a time to um, <clears throat> look after your emotional health. In July, we experience a new moon in Cancer on the 10th of July. In the Southern Hemisphere, um, adjust times accordingly, depend to, depending on where you are in the world, of course. But on this day, you might want to reflect and set intentions on how you want to feel within the next new moon cycle. That might look at, you know, you might want to feel more energetic. You might want to feel more happier. You might want to feel more love or success. Whatever that is for you, I feel like the new moon in Cancer is really urging you or getting you to look at what you want to bring in, emotionally speaking, within the next new moon cycle. Okay. For some of you, you might want to feel more liberation with the freedom card. You might want to feel more freedom. Okay. But it might require you as towards the end of July, when we enter Leo season, it asks you to become more courageous and Aries you are a cardinal sign you're you're the pioneer so I do see you you know embodying courage the courage to work through your fears those fears may be it's time to let go of some people in your life that hold you back because we've got the freedom card here. Yeah, just to take a look and see who's holding you back from achieving what it is that you want in your life. Who's holding you back? Is it a lover? Is it a group of people? Is it a family member? <clears throat> I feel like you will embody courage. The courage to work through that fear of letting go. Of those connections, those relationships, or even those thoughts that limit you and hold you back. We we have the hanging man here or the hanged man here. And he's not moving, he's just hanging there. So I'm seeing here Aries that you want more maybe financial freedom or the freedom to just do what you want, but there is someone here with the hanged man holding you back. Now, it could be someone, but we only see one person in this card. It could be yourself holding you back. So the new moon in Scorpio, work through your fears, new moon in Scorpio is really getting you to do some deep, deep excavation work. transforming through the fears that you haven't had the courage to maybe face up to this point. <clears throat> yeah, sure, you know, cancer season, it's an emotional season. It can be an emotional season. You're a fire sign. You might feel push and pulled with this energy. But your emotions hold truth. 
And with the hanged man here, it speaks to reflection or insight, I should say. You will receive insight and enlightenment through those emotions that you are experiencing at the beginning of cancer season. Scorpio rules is ruled by Pluto. And Pluto is the planet of destruction. So breaking down, okay, breaking it all down for yourself. So you can get to this point where you feel liberated and free. For others of you, Arians out there, Leo season might see you, for those of you in um, already kind of estranged relationships or connections I do see a possible separation here a walking away with the five of swords in reverse a cutting losses you know um, cutting losses accepting it is what it is and there's this beautiful freedom coming through we've got the siren card here Remember, Leo season, um, Leo is ruled by the sun. So this is about yourself. Um, having the courage to put yourself out there. You know, the siren is, is sexual. It's captivating. It's magnetic. I feel like by the time Leo season rocks around, you're going to be possibly capturing people's interests or attention here. You might become more sexually active. I don't know. Um, there might be a freedom to, you know, put yourself out there with the siren to attract lovers. You know, Leo is the lion. The lion is the king of the jungle. And the king has many lovers. Okay, the, the king has many lionesses. So... We've got three people in this card. There may be a couple of people for you single Aryans out there coming onto the scene. <clears throat> so I feel like your sexual energy um, is going to increase as well. Uh, you may feel the need or the desire to have more sex uh, for some of you here. <coughs> You've also got the message, I lost my phone. So I feel like here that this is maybe like a warning to just be mindful of where you place your phone. Um, if you do lose your phone, I feel like it will be um, closer than you think. So I don't, I don't feel like you'll lose it forever. I just feel like um, for some of you, you may be losing your phone, but you might leave it behind um you know, at your mum and dad's or at your sister's or at a friend's house. Also, just be careful of uh, incoming and outgoing messages here. Um, I'm feeling like with your phone, if you have a mobile phone or, you know, or even email here, I feel like that you may lose uh, a particular message in your phone. Um, so there, there's, this is around messages. Um, so just be careful of what you're deleting because I feel like you may accidentally delete a message that you need. Okay, it, it's an important message, but you might accidentally delete it or, um, yeah, something of that nature. <clears throat> I 
I do see with the Three of Cups here more celebrations, more parties, more social events happening for you, but they might be more closer to home than you think. Okay, just watch, um, watch, I don't want to say watch your alcohol intake, but watch what comes out of your mouth if you are under the influence of alcohol, because I do feel like you may regret what you say. You may draw attention to you as well, um, whilst under the influence that you might not, that you might regret later on. So when I say drawing unwanted attention, I mean, for some of you, um, you may be attracting uh, the wrong type of energy to you. Uh, it's because you want to have a good time. You want There's this sense of freedom coming in for you and you just want, you might just feel like really letting your hair down and letting go. And so with that, You might, um, you might behave in a way that is irresponsible. But to you, you're just having a good time. But others might misconstrue your body language or what is communicated through your actions. <clears throat> I do see for some of you Aryans out there, you might be looking at working with a group of people. Um, but I, I see that more in Leo season, okay, sort of middle of July to the end of July. I see you wanting to work with a group of people here. Um Pay attention to your intuition, okay? You are intuitive. We're all intuitive. The tiger here resembles or symbolizes, I should say, intuition. Listen to your animal instincts. Who are you drawn to? Who are you uh, put off by? So, yeah. So that's all I have for you guys um, at this stage. I hope you enjoyed this read and until next time, take care.